Fresh Bake, we're back with another update on construction progress going on at Avengers Campus, and we're starting at uh, Luigi's Rollicking Roadsters to see what's going on with that Doctor Strange area. We tried to solve this last week, and I'm going to pause here, so that we could look at those concrete pillars that were that we noticed last week. And we thought we had a beat on this, but then Dustin sort of poured a little, <laughs> a little bit of cold water on it. But, uh, you know, it, it's still, I think we're 50-50 on what we're looking at here. I mean, that is actual concrete, uh, not like rock work like we've seen at Galaxy's Edge, where normally with rock work, you use that, there's a mesh. It starts with a, with a mesh that creates a form, and then they pour like a, you know, a certain solution or whatever on top of it to create the, the faux rock look. This is literal concrete with rebar and everything. But it doesn't look like, I mean, well, I should say, it looks like that's the final form. They wouldn't append to that. Why would, you know what I mean? Like, so it, while it may not look like that cosmetically, there, there probably is going to be a skin or something applied to that later. I have to think that that is the final form, that whatever it is that they built, you know, that's what it's going, that's the form it's going to take. So what I want to do is try to place those. And the best way to do that is to start with a concept art. And the area in question that we're looking at, as best as we can tell, is this area right here where these trees are in the concept art. And by the way, something that I never noticed before is that you can actually see the cozy cones in the lower right corner, which gives us a great uh, frame of reference for where we're standing. Take a look at this shot that, uh, that Dustin showed me earlier uh, this week that is taken from almost the same exact angle. And that line that you see there represents our point of view that we shot this footage from looking at the Avengers building. And you can obviously you can see that we're right next to the cozy cones. So here's the end of Luigi's Rollicking Roasters. That's where the wall is presently. And the, the pieces of concrete that we're seeing are just behind that wall. Not, you know, not by a lot. It's between the trees and the road there, somewhere in that area. Now compare that to this concept art which is of the Doctor Strange area proper, but shot from the opposite angle and probably to our left as we view it uh, from Luigi's. So that looks like the, these structures here, the, these forms these, or these pillars are probably the proper entrance to the area. Uh, these, aren't the, these aren't the pillars that we're looking at. More likely the area that we're observing is way back here in the corner. You know, uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if we can see the concrete that, uh, you know, in this concept art that we're seeing from Luigi's. But that, but there you can see that structure back there, that guy, that is probably, as we continue, that building right there behind the concrete pillars. Not the Avengers building, but the, the, the wooden forms that are being erected uh, in between the Avengers building and the wall. That building that we're, that we're looking at is more than likely this building here, that structure. So it's going to be kind of a mix of ruins or ruin looking kind of thing, because that's what Dr. It's, it's a segue of sorts. It's a transition. Uh, and I, I feel like, you know, that's kind of, par for what Disney does in these in these instances is take two different theming elements and then and then blend them into one as you process your way through between the two between as you transition between the two lands so as you go between Cars Land and Avengers Campus you're going to see some ruins and some of the more glossy finished Avenger you know modern Avenger buildings as you work your way into the Doctor Strange area. Now, the one question that I have looking at this is that, does that mean that there's a, a rear entrance to the Doctor Strange performance area? Are, are guests going to filter in from both angles? And I suppose that's possible, and I suppose that's why you have a ruin-like entrance, because obviously in this concept art, there is, you know, there's ruins in the entrance, so you'd want something similar to that as you approach from the opposite direction. Seems reasonable. All right, let's continue by heading over to Mater's to take a look at the, this is the final crane, the third crane in the, uh, in the trilogy of cranes <laughs> at uh, 
at the Spider-Man show area, I guess. And uh, one thing that Dustin pointed out is if we zoom in closely to the to that crane, uh, you can see here. It looks like he he assumes that that is uh, fitted there for theming, uh, and you can see that there's there's tabs set into the side of the crane, which will probably likely be to mount some theming. So the idea that both Ronnie and Dustin suggested is that this is not, it's not going to, it may not even look like a crane by the time they're done. It may look like something else entirely after they put the, the skin over it. Um, and I was also talking to uh, Mark over at, you know, Yen said 55. Uh, and he suggests that it's likely that you won't even be able to see the bottom half of this uh, this crane area set up. That they they might they might raise the sight line, the wall or the, the roof line or whatever you want to call it for this building to obscure probably everything. I don't know. I'm guessing to that platform and below, and that would obviously help the illusion that you know that he's standing on top of something or leaning out from something. I don't know. This is this is going to be a fascinating thing. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out. But let's let's move forward. Here's another look at Crane Number One in the Crane Trilogy. And something I forgot to mention that Dustin said last week, and that another uh, viewer pointed out, is that if we zoom in again to the crane, there's a yellow safety. Uh, you see, see that right there, the yellow thing? That's actually going to be an opening for a cast member to either enter into or exit from that platform up there. So now a couple things can happen here. They could have sensors that could activate other parts of the show or stop other parts of the show. You know, if things aren't going well, that's what, you know, when, when that gate opens or closes or something like that, it could trigger or, or set up the next phase, likely the launching of Stuntronic Spidey. Now, my, my question, though, would be, I, my guess is, that the way I visualize this is that somebody would be entering that gate and then doing some sort of, you know, uh, I'm guessing a live, a live performer, a live actor, and he would do some sort of, you know, action on top of that stage, and then it would trigger the second stage of the uh, performance. Okay, here's a look at the middle crane, the, the showstopper, the, the, the turn in the performance. And again, back there through the tree, you can see the apparatus that is going to catch Spider-Man, or actually pull him out of the net, I think. Uh, random shot of random stuff <laughs> through the trees. Uh, that's the uh, web suppliers building, I believe. And then nothing still has happened. These They, they, they put these uh, metal forms up a long time ago, but nothing's happened there. So we're still standing by, waiting to see what's up with that. And then back down on the ground again to look at the, uh, the third, final crane once more. Now, I have to wonder if they are going to obscure that. I wonder what they would do if they were going to raise the roof line or, or, or to obscure some of that apparatus. I, I don't know if that fits in with what I've seen with the concept art. Huh. Whatever the case may be, this is going to be a hell of a show. Okay, uh, we're on the uh, Pixar Pal around, and I'm going to stop right here because this is get this gives us a pretty good, well, the best we've seen so far of where we believe the arc reactor will be. Way down here in the corner, where that dirt is accumulating. And that's my baby talking to us in the background there. <laughs> Down there is where the arc reactor is going to be. And uh, again, we got a we got a pretty good shot of this from that overhead that I showed you earlier with that with the um, you know when we were looking at the Doctor Strange right there's there's the impression that's the beginning of the arc reactor right there. Now if we look at that from the concept art, there it is again. People have been asking, this is why I'm pointing this out, people have been asking, where are you going to see this show from? There's no there's no theater, per se. Everybody's down on the ground. And uh, actually, that, that walkway that you see there is fairly narrow. You'd, you'd be pretty much looking directly up at it. 
so I'm my 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 belief is that what that is is that that's what the arc reactor area is for down there. Uh, it is that is your viewing area, and you can kind of see some guests standing there looking up at Spider Man as he as he floats over uh, the Spider Man attraction building. I, I that and that's actually the proper entrance into Avengers Campus from the the parade corridor the corridor just to its left. It, it's that's right about where you know where the the old Bugs Life uh, entrance was. I, I can't think of any other suitable area to view this from. I mean, you could you could see it. You could see probably the majority of it from the ground through that walkway. Although, like we said, it's narrow and you're looking almost straight up at it from that perspective. It's it's not a wide area. Uh, but I mean, you could probably get the, the at least the gist of it. <laughs> It'll look cool no matter where you're seeing it from. And we'll continue. And as in the past few weeks, not a lot to see from above. Uh, actually, there's a little bit actually in this case. I, I'm trying to remember where it was at. They haven't made much progress on Pim Foods down there. There it is. Okay. Yeah, let's stop here and zoom way in. And you can see, this is interesting. Dustin pointed this out, and I never would have caught this. This is why I have friendly muffins helping us out with this kind of stuff. That little wall down there is part of the Doctor Strange performance area. It's going gonna, it's gonna to separate, I'm guessing, uh, let's say the Spider-Man areas from, from Doctor Strange. I'm just going to keep going. I think I'm just going to keep going, guys. That wall where the ladder is, uh, is a form, but it's not a completed form that we have, we're used to seeing. A form has two sides and then a middle, and you fill in the concrete or, you know, in between the two, between the two wooden forms, uh, and it creates a wall. But they've only put up half of the wall here in this case, and you'll see those notches. There's three extrusions to that wall. Now those aren't actually extrusions in the finished product. They're going to be notches, holes in the in the finished product. They're what Dustin called the negative of what we're seeing now. We're, what we see as being uh, sticking out from the wall is actually going to be, like I said, uh, uh, set into the wall. Hopefully that makes sense. Unfortunately, we, we won't be able to see that once they finish that wall. We won't be able to see how that looks when it's done because all we're going to see is the back side of the wall and not the, the side of the wall that has the actual impressions in it. But you can do you can see on the other side of this wall all the wooden forms that we can see. I, I believe, the, are those the same or a continuation of the, the wooden uh, setup that we've, you know, the wood that we've seen from Luigi's, from Cars Land? Could be. Let's continue. Quick update from the cast member building behind Luigi's. Uh, the the theme scrim is still gone, but they are. It looks like they're moving quickly here. Another layer has been added. And now we'll go to the Pixar. Uh, or I'm sorry, the Mickey and Friends parking structure just to see what's happening with Mickey and Friends. Again, I couldn't make it down to Toontown or the other side of the bridge to get a shot. So this is the best shot we have this week. But again, work is moving forward. Uh, Dustin says he can't see what they're doing, but they are doing stuff. So that's good news. Meanwhile, at the Haunted Mansion, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, look, uh, I'm here because I wanted to show you guys uh, the current status of the paint job at the exterior of the Haunted Mansion. Um, it looks a little different, and I wanted to scare you, because th that's what I do. But I, I, no, really, the reason why I'm showing you this is because it does look different, and that there's no chance at all that it will stay this way. They are absolutely going to restore the Haunted Mansion to its color scheme that we're very familiar with. They would never change the appearance of the Haunted Mansion. And I'm saying that because of this, the Snow White. We talked about this last week, and we're like, wow, that looks really different. Uh, well, yeah, it could. 
and it does, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is our finished product, obviously, that this also could uh, go through some more changes. So uh, I was a little bit shook by this last week, you know, seeing the yellow and brown, uh, but that's, you know, same thing as, as Haunted Mansion. Now, there's th that's some repainted rock work out in front of the castle, and you can see how it compares to how it looked before, and it does look different. I mean, there is a definite difference there. Now, this part, maybe that does change, but I would see those accents, those really severe yellowish accents are the, are the parts that I'm thinking will probably still evolve, I'm hoping, anyway. Uh, but there you go. So there it is again. You can see that there are parts of this that just, it's really striking, especially when you can see it next to something that hasn't been done, and they're not changing that. Uh, and we're going to close with the, with the uh, King Arthur's Carousel. It's being fumigated. <laughs> I know they, they finished whatever they're doing on the, uh, uh, you know, the, the top there. What they were re, uh, repainting the top of that. Remember that purple uh, tip of the carousel. So now that's back under scrim, or not scrim, but just under covering. And that's our current view. It'll be like that for a little while, I'm sure, still. And there you go, guys. That's all of our construction update for the week. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Watch our video from last week with Disneyland News. And, uh, and then tomorrow, we've got uh, Wednesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, you guys. All right. I hope you're looking forward to it because I got a fun one. We're actually going to go on a ride for this Wednesday episode. So I hope you watch that. And uh, those are becoming quite popular. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so that you are kept up to date on what's going on with Fresh Baked and at Disneyland. And we'll see you next time. Fresh Baked! We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!